had a nice shower, had a bite to eat, and now we're pretty much ready to go. I've wanted to make this video for a while. I wanted to talk about using the manual mode in a truck. Since like 2011, Fords have had these buttons on the shifter column. Now what these buttons do is they allow you to change gears manually instead of letting the transmission do it itself. A lot of cars have this, trucks have this, F-150s, Dodge Rams, Silverados, GMCs. Most of them have some form of this uh, manual mode here. Used for is to supplement the automatic transmission. If it's not doing what you want to do in a certain uh, scenario, then you can take control of it and uh, get, I don't know, better performance out of it. I have been using it on both my trucks, probably two or 300,000 kilometers combined. I like it because it gives me better control, I get more engine braking when I need it, when I want it, and it shifts when I want it. If I'm coming up to a hill, I don't have to give it more gas, I can just click the button a couple times and I'm in the right gear. So that's why I like it, it gives me the control. Basically it's like having the best of a manual transmission, but without the clutch. I don't think anyone really misses the clutch, especially when you get into traffic. Alright, so on the trailer today, on the very back. We've got this loader bucket. Um, this thing is going to Goose Bay. So just threw that on the back. Threw a, tra a chain across it. Back of this trailer needs to be cleaned up. Check out what happened again. Can you guys see that? That there is not supposed to be at an angle. The ramp is actually bent again. I don't need the ramp anymore for now. Alright, so we got a nice 2016, I believe. 2016. Outlander 850 XMR. I put a few kilometers on it as uh, it's for a friend of mine. Awesome bike. It was a lot of fun. So I was shut down and had pretty much nothing to do for a while. So we got an 18 foot boat here. Let's see inside of it. He said uh, he did some work on it. So let's see what he did. Can't see that. I'll see it when I edit, I guess. So that's a nice boat. And then this car, to Labrador City, yeah, Lab West. Back of the truck, gotta clean up these straps here. A couple gas cans, the straps go in that box. And then, the generator there. Not too bad. It has been worse, it could be worse. Alright, 2018 PJ, 53 foot trailer. It's actually 44 foot, that's like the model name. A 2017 F350 Power Stroke. It's a good truck, she's done some work. And before I forget, Maxwell, the Maxwell Dogs. He's a good boy, he's the uh, he's a manager of the operations here. Part of the reason that I wanted to do this video now is because uh, for those of you interested in using the manual mode on the truck, I have something that makes it a bit easier. These are paddle shifters, so that clamps on to the, um, the column, and then this here presses the buttons. So uh, it's patent pending. I'm selling these, I got clear, which is the coolest to me. Clear ones, black, I can do yellow. Now let's, I wanna get one of these on, and uh, that's gonna make shifting more fun and a bit easier. People have been asking me why I use the manual mode for a long time, well since I, really started making videos because I've always used it. I use it because it just makes driving a bit more fun. It makes me feel like I'm, I have like a little bit more control. Dare I say it, I think it's confidence inspiring. Yeah, so the clear one here has been a favorite of mine. Plastic is actually super high quality. It's probably the best plastic that I have. So I am in the midst of designing one for the Ram. It's gonna be difficult. The ram buttons are nowhere near behind the steering wheel and by rights that's where you'd want a paddle shifter so you can go 10 and two and shift gears. So I don't know how long it's gonna take, how much testing that's gonna take. I can't really test it because I don't have a ram, um, unfortunately. The testing's gonna have to be done by other people. It's gonna make things take a bit longer and it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. It's gonna be more expensive than the Ford one because the Ford one is just super simple. It'll happen, it'll happen. Slips over onto the buttons. 
you just want to tighten it down to where you cannot move it with your fingers. Now this pattern, you can actually see through the paddle. That's where the 10 and 2 position would be, and that's upshift, downshift. It's pretty cool. Hit the road, and I'm going to explain to you the theory of using manual mode. So the reasons I really use this is because, uh, well, the main one is braking. So let's say in an emergency situation, you got trailer brakes and you got truck brakes. Your trailer brakes, obviously, you hit the button, they're locked up, um, or they go with the, tra uh, the truck brake. So they're taken care of. Now the truck brake works primarily on the front, on the front brakes. The front brakes are the strongest on a truck. Your rear brakes aren't doing as much as they could um, despite them having thousands of pounds of weight put on them from towing. So that's why I like to use this brake. So when I'm stopping, I usually grab the trailer brake uh, manually, get on the, the, the pedal, the foot pedal, and at the same time, I can use this hand here to hit the downshifter uh, to get the engine brake cut in. And I find that really slows it down quickly. So in combination with me having a light bar, you know, if a moose comes up, I have more than enough time to slow down, and I can do so with gears, trailer brakes, and truck brakes. That's, uh, that's a big thing. The other thing is when I'm coming up to a hill, um, I want to pick up some speed. Instead of putting my foot to the floor, I can downshift myself, and that is going to just get me in the right gear a bit earlier, so when I roll into the throttle, I don't have to wait for it to shift to get that that power. Reason also braking, I don't use the truck brakes hardly ever. It's uh, always the engine brake that's stopping the vehicle. If I see a red light coming up, I'll just start gearing down super early. The engine brake will stop, you know, a 30 something thousand pound trailer, no problem if you give it enough time. It works super well. So some reasons people are afraid of using the manual mode is that it might be hard on the transmission, you might blow up the motor, blah blah blah. Well the thing with these is that it doesn't let you do anything wrong. If let's say I'm going 80 right now, if I try and shift down below third gear, it won't let me. It'll flash third gear. It won't let me go below third gear until I get to a certain speed. And that's kind of the fail safe. The same thing, it won't let me go too fast either. So now we got some construction coming up. I'm gonna gear down. Third gear. Might help if I turn the exhaust brake on. Second gear. And you can see we just slowed down for construction without touching the trailer or truck brakes at all. And that's the whole point of using this. So I do it all the time. You're gonna see it in this video actually. I use the engine brake to its full potential. I'll let this thing rev to 3,500 RPM if I'm towing a heavy load. I'll get in the gear I wanna be in and I'll let the engine brake take me down the hill almost completely. The only thing it's kinda of useless for is accelerating like this. The truck could change its own gears just fine. But this is where it gets kind of more of an involved driving experience. I get to choose when the gears get changed. It's interacting with the truck a little more. It helps, you know, keep your attention on the truck and the road. We're gonna head out to the hills now, the mountains. Hopefully it's not too dark by the time I get there. And we are going to go up and down the hills and I'll show you uh, why I like using this, uh, the manual mode so much. And I'll show you firsthand on some huge grades. Check the straps before we continue on. Make sure everything's good. Oh, yeah. That's tight. That's not tight at all. We are going up into the hills now. Hopefully, it's not too much of a struggle. All right, so I know now I'm gonna have to gear down. So instead of lugging the motor and getting on the throttle hard, getting it to gear down, forcing it to do it, I can just press the button 
and it goes into the gear I want it to be in. Alright, so now we're losing speed again. So, gear down, and we're picking up speed. So you can kind of get a feel for it and maintain the gearing that you want. That goes especially for the 10 speeds. Now I haven't tried the 10 speed yet. I haven't gotten my 450 yet in Montreal, but the 10 speed is going to be a lot easier to keep at a certain RPM, at a certain power level to get over certain obstacles. Shifting it yourself, you know what the hill looks like, you know what's coming up, so you should be able to judge what gear you need to be in a lot better than the computer can. Because the computer, the transmission, can only react to the terrain where you can predict it, you can see it coming. So that was a huge 12% actually, the truck just ate it like it was breakfast. Very nice. Alright, so now, now the important part, now going down. It is a pretty big treacherous hill with a big turn at the bottom. The reason why I like using the manual mode so much, now we're about to go down a very steep hill. Now the trailer isn't too heavy, but still uh, we're gonna gain some speed going down this one. We're gonna we're gonna burn down this hill pretty good. When you let off the gas, it'll kick the engine brake on. So we're coming down the hill now, and I have the engine brake engaged. See, we're at 3,000, and the speed is climbing, but very slowly. So I wouldn't have been able to make that split-second decision. I would have had to press on the brakes and then wait for the engine brake to kick on. Where I knew I needed it right away, it was there when I used the shifter. So that's the big thing I like about this system going down hills. And then when I knew I didn't need it so much anymore, I could shift up without pressing on the gas and turning the engine brake off. So what this does basically is when I let off the gas, the engine brake kicks on. You can see we're not making any power. We're making negative power. The turbo, the boost gauge is up a bit. That's negative pressure. And the RPMs are dropping again. So we're coming up to the big part of the hill now. So we're going to slow down. So now still no foot on any pedals. I'll be able to gear down. Give her another one. Second gear. So I'm still not using any truck brake, and we're almost stopped on probably a 3 or 4% grade. So I'll show you guys what it's like in automatic. So I'll put the engine brake in automatic, put the truck in drive. So, okay, so we're going down the hill. I'm on the brakes, I'm on the brakes hard, hard on the brakes and there's a little bit of engine brake. Just a tiny little bit. And I was hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes again. Hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. And I'm not getting the engine brake that I want. So now, watch as we just pick up speed going down this hill. This is no good. So, that's why I put engine brake on. We'll get back on the truck brakes, put it in manual and get her back down to 22 or 2300 RPM. So now we got full engine braking and I'm getting all of the stopping power that the truck has to offer. Now, the truck peaks at 2800 RPM, but the reason for the red line being at 4000 is for the engine brake. So you're doing absolutely no damage. It's not hurting anything. Um, of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably some extra wear and tear, but really the truck is made to do this. So yeah, that's an awesome tool and I use it all the time. So that is why I use it. Um, using it in automatic, the engine brake, it's just not there when I want it. It's not doing what I need to do. The transmission, I generally just don't like how it shifts. So. I'm really glad there's a manual mode, and I use it all the time. Now, if I'm just going around town or something, especially without a trailer, I don't use manual mode for the most part. Um, you know, it's nice to have, to be able to just put it in drive, I do that all the time. But when I'm towing, especially heavy, I'm in manual mode to make sure I have the most control over the truck as possible. So yeah, so those shifters are available if you want them. Um, numeric fabrications. Go check that out, that's N-E-W, Merrick. 
go like that page if you want, if you want to support me. And yeah, you can message me there to order more shifters and stuff. And it's a quick PayPal thing. Clear, black, yellow. I feel like there's another one. And orange, yeah. Nice, bright orange. It's pretty cool. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you haven't used the manual mode, I hope you want to try it out now. Guys, as always, if you enjoy these videos, you know what to do. Not even going to tell you. Anyways, so that's... Oh, shit, that was rough. That's it for me. You guys, you guys have a good day.